guys, super easy tutorial today. It is the Alien Catacomb, and um, it's one of my bone bases that I have that it's um, going to be in my Kickstarter coming soon. And um, basically, it's just a few paints. It's three paints, and uh, very first layer is going to be pavement, which is it's a very dark gray. Next will be known oil. This will be to get in all those crevices, all those details to really make it, you know, just make it stand out. And um, after that to dry, um, I want to use a heat gun on this to make it dry a lot faster. But um, after it's dry, you're going to use lead belcher over the top. And then right after the top, I'm going to add a licorice, which is what I use to paint all the sides of my bases. I'm going to add that now just so you can see it. But um, with lead belcher, it's really simple. You know, I'm just gonna dry brush the entire surface. It's gonna give it a nice little metallic finish. And um, it's preparing itself for the very next step. The next step is going to be, uh, it's polyurethane. And I actually like this more than gloss varnish. And what I use this for is it really, really is a great sealer. And um, it has an amazing end product and you'll see it after it's fully dry and if you notice here my my brush doesn't really brush <laughs> I've used it so much with the the varnish that um it's ruined the brush you have to take note of that but it's more like a dropper and um it yeah I just put it down in there and it just it makes a clean coat this is when the base is fully dry I used a heat gun on it for about maybe a minute or two and then I let it sit to dry for about 45 minutes and um, that's the end product. Here are some other color variations with the same base and um, I just I went in there and I did these a while ago because I was experimenting with different colors and different themes and um, this one right here also has a, a varnish added to it also to make it like really really kind of slimy all the time but um Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a good one.